Take part, participate, become a captain of your own business, yeah, and the sky's the limit. So the first thing to know about me is I'm from the field. Anyone in our company, I did not shortcut my way with my incredible good looks. I didn't work my way around the system and managed to get myself immediately promoted to vice president. Uh, I had to do it like everybody else. And so I started, I'm British, uh, but I started in Australia and I went out in an office in a place called Parramatta, Kilna Road in Parramatta. And I went and did, uh, actually back in those days, it wasn't very common. We do street pitching a lot today, but uh, to Street pitch in Australia was uh, not a really common thing, uh, but if you worked in the center of the city, uh, you know that was you know, that was basically what you did. And I remember going out and street pitching uh, and watching street pitching, and absolutely, and I watched my leader going out and doing it extremely well. And I thought, I'm never gonna. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And so I specifically chose old people that didn't move very fast to try and go and pitch them. And then uh, and then I started to basically understand a little bit more. Hey, you know if you are enthusiastic and you smile a lot and you've got a bit of an idea about how to use this thing a little bit better, you can do pretty amazing things. And I know it sounds really simple, but you know we've now built a $65 million company with a folder, a badge, and a sort of smiley level of enthusiasm. And I literally arrived in KL at 21 years old with a, so I basically had no real head office, so I was the head office. I had about $100,000 that I'd saved, and so I went and made my own cards. So I went to the restaurants, Found, found a restaurant that would basically sign up a deal with me, a buy one, get one free. You could only sell the card more than five miles away because the person had never been there. So we did a few different promotions and that was basically how we got the business started. So uh, loads and loads of variations. Imagine 20 years later, uh, we've sort of grown the business out from Malaysia and Singapore uh, where we've got about 900 people working in the field every day uh, to today. We then went to Indonesia, to Thailand, to the Philippines, to Hong Kong, to South South Korea and now most recently uh, into Taiwan and our business has evolved in many 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 different uh, you know and very very cool ways today probably about 10 years ago someone walked up to me and said you know what James one of the problems you're gonna have with your business in 10 years from now is that the internet is gonna overwhelm you yeah, people are just gonna not need, you know, a face-to-face -face interaction. People are just gonna find stuff online. They're gonna shop online. They're gonna buy stuff online. The age of face-to-face -face marketing is dying or will die. And I'm like, really? Oh, okay, that's not bad news, you know? But obviously, you know, you have to listen to various different people. And I thought, I'm not sure that that's the case because at the end of the day, all the people that buy off us weren't expecting it, correct? Everybody tomorrow morning is gonna be having their breakfast calmly and coolly talking to their kids yeah no idea that we're about to get them <laughs> and that person will have gone, hey, no problem, thanks very much, that's brilliant, have a great day, bye. <laughs> and they will go, uh, okay. <laughs> and they will walk away and they will tell someone at work, going, I just had the weirdest dude in a shopping mall. He, I talked to him, he talked to me, five minutes later, like, I said no, he was like, ah, brilliant, bye. <laughs> that was weird, right, okay, that was weird. Uh, and weird is what makes us cool. Yeah, because we're the only company that's super freaking weird, <laughs> happy when people say no. That's how we got this big. Yeah, because we don't just look for set, we don't look for yeses, we look for no's. Or well, we don't look for no's. <laughs> no, we don't look for no's, no's just happen to us. Yeah. What's also really, really important is that the internet is not threatening us, the internet is bringing us alive. Yeah, so the idea of people being online today is actually making us even more valuable than we've ever been before. We're like 1970s, we're back in style, you know, flared pants are coming back. You know, like we you know we've got a real cache 
stay in the market because big digital businesses are realizing yeah, that if we all have the same route to market, yeah, if we've all got a ride sharing service or if we've all got streaming TV and we're all digitally marketing and we're all sharing the same little square on Facebook targeting the same customer and we're all exactly the same, the only thing that's going to make a difference is a hundred guys in a t-shirt running around enthusiastically going, hey, we're from this company, if you give me a phone, I'll download the app directly into your phone and I'll switch you on straight away and we'll get you activated and started, whether it's a ride, whether it's a streaming TV, whether it's your first flight, whether it's all of these things. So when we talk about introducing, advertising, selling and now activating, you know, the, like the landscape of digital acquisitions is rapidly changing towards our direction and that is really, really, really cool for us in terms of how we look at the business uh, moving forward. I remember being told that very early on. I remember being in a business advancement meeting going, if I have 15 people on my team, I'm going to be rich. I remember like looking at people on the bus on the way home going, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, I'm going, come with me. <laughs> I really try to keep it very simple going, wow, that can't be very, very hard. But then I went in the field the next day, I'm like 15 people, 15 people, 15 people. And then I went in the field and I started doing sales. I went, let's do some more sales, let's do some more sales. And I forgot the simplicity of what we're actually asking you to do is to rock up here with 15 people. You're not gonna do it tomorrow morning and you need to do it gradually, yeah? But we want you to break a record. Be the person that gets 15 people on their crew in three months. Doesn't take nine months, doesn't take 15 months, doesn't take 20 months, takes as long as it takes for you to rock up here with five first generation leaders on your team and 15 people hitting your points target. Yeah, If you can do that in seven weeks, all hail hallelujah. And so think big, think outside the box, think how do I break a record in this country, how do I be the guy, how he's just gone up to Baggio, rocked up in a McDonald's and put 20 people on in a McDonald's. Yeah, Do not be a spectator. I was sat in a room listening to somebody 20 years ago telling me not to be a spectator telling me to get on the field, telling me to participate and I looked at some other people and I thought, am I worthy? Can I do something like this? And the answer was most definitely yes and for you the answer is most definitely yes as well. Take part, participate, become a captain of your own business and the sky's the limit. Okay? Great stuff. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.